So we have this uh, we have this problem where uh, or situation I guess where it's like a simulation of a of a tide. So I noticed that um, this equation is supposed to simulate how a tide's uh, moving, the relationship between the time in hours and the depth uh, in feet. So um, we want to know when's the fourth time after midnight. This starts at like midnight on January 1st. Uh, when's, what time will it be the fourth time or just when, how many hours? Will the fourth time be at 9.5 deep? Let me get a sketch of this real quick. So I know I have a center line at 1.5. So uh, try and try and draw that a little better. Boop, 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 boop. So there's a 1.5. I know it goes up uh, 12.2 from there. So it's going to max out up here at, what's that, 13.7. And then um, it goes down 12.2. So if I go 1.5 minus 12.2, I'm down here at um, negative 10.7. I also know that it's cosine, so I'm going to have a max, just a max somewhere. And it, the x value for it is going to be shifted right 7. So point two. And it, it has that height of 13.7. Uh, and I know that cosine does this. The other thing I know is by looking at this part, I know the period of this. Remember, I can go 2 pi divided by that b value, pi over 10.5, and I get 21. So this repeats itself every 21 hours. That's its period. Great. And it's, since 0.7 is here, zero is, I don't know, probably about here. I'm just estimating. It goes like this. And what I want to know is when is it going to be 9.5 deep? So I don't know, 9.5 might be about here. So notice it happens here, then it happens here, then it happens here. It just keeps happening as that tide cycles through. And I actually want to know how many hours it takes. One, two, three, four. To get to this fourth time that it's that it's that deep, that 9.5 deep. So I'm looking for the x value here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to solve this equation for 9.5. So I'm going to plug 9.5 in for y. And I'm just going to strip some pieces away. So first thing uh, I'm going to do is subtract, yeah, subtract 1.5. And if I do that, uh, then I've got 8 equals 12.5 cosine pi over 10.5 times x minus 0.7. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is, notice this is 12.5 times that, so I'm going to divide both sides by 12.5. So I've got, um, oh, you know what? It's not a 12.5. I messed up. It's a 12.2. I'm sorry. I, I copied it down wrong. I hope you weren't wondering why that turned into a 5. It was because I made a mistake. So, uh, So now I've got this. 8 over 12.2 equals cosine pi 10.5 x minus 0.7. So now, now notice um, cosine of cosine of this value right here equals 8, point, uh, 8 over 12.2. So what I should be able to do is go inverse cosine of this 8 over 12.2, and whatever that is will be that equal to that value. So let me do that on my cal calculator, cosine, inverse cosine of 8 over 12.2, and it spits out 0.8556. Now remember, that's in radians, right? So that's an angle measure in radians. Remember, one radian is about 57 degrees or so, so hopefully that helps give you a little context. But let me think about this idea of this cosine. Um, this, this 8 over 12.2, that's just a distance like this. And I have, boom, this angle here, 0.8556, that would give me that width right there. 
but I also have this that would also work. Inverse cosine only gives me one answer, it only gives me this answer. So I need to figure out what this angle is too. And notice since this angle here is equal to that angle there, I should just be able to go a full rotation minus that. So 2 pi minus 0.8556. And uh, I'm going to do that on my calculator. That looks like about 5.428. So cos inverse cosine is equal to that, but if I go cosine of this or of this, then I'll get about then I'll get eight over twelve point two. I'm a little bit off because I rounded, but so this part that's highlighted is either going to be that value or that value. So I really have two cases. It's, I split it into two cases. In other words, this uh, this ten over I'm sorry pi over ten. 0.5 times x minus 0.7 is equal to 0.8556. And I could write another full equation if I wanted, but I'm just going to keep them together. It's also equal to 5.428. Um, either one of those values, if this ends up either being either one of those values, then cosine of it will be that. Great. So then now I'm just going to do some more algebra to solve this. Um, and notice I have two things here. I'm just going to do whatever I do to the left side. I'm going to do it to both sides here on the right. So uh, pi over 10.5, I'm going to multiply by 10.5 over pi. So I'm going to multiply both of these by 10.5 over pi. And let me do that on my calculator. Um, this one, uh, this one. Oops, I wanted black, sorry. This first one times uh, 10.5 over pi, it becomes 2.860. The second one becomes uh, 18.842. Uh, no, 142. And notice that's equal to x minus 0.7. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm still solving for x, so I'm just going to add 0.7 to everything. Plus 0.7, plus 0.7. So 3.56, All right. Now what I found here, this 3.56, this first point right here. And this 18.842, that's the x value for this point right here. And remember, they each have a, there's a period of 21 here. So my solutions for this actually come in, come in the form, I'm going to erase a little bit so I have a little bit of space to write my answers. Three point five six zero plus the period, some multiple of twenty one, and eighteen point eight four two plus the period. And now, if I want this fourth one right here, notice this associates with going uphill and hitting that, and that doesn't happen here. That actually happens here, right? That's the first time it happens here, going uphill to hit that point. So that's in my eighteen point eight four two. And notice to get up to that next one, the fourth time it happens, that's a distance of 21. Uh, sorry, a minute. Oop. Put that back in there. Um, that distance from here to here is 21. So if I take this value, add 21 to it, I'll get that x value. So just letting n be 1 is just one period past that. So it must be um, 39.842 hours later. And what I can do to check my answer, um, it's pretty easy to do. I can take this value and plug it back in here. And this should spit out then about 9.5. So it's easy to check.
All right.